Okay, the purpose of the screencast is to show you how to take data from a Google Doc and put it into Excel to make a scatter plot. First thing you notice on the Google Doc is this first column was added, maybe since you've added the, uh, your data from your team. This is your total seconds. Um, it'll make the plot much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight this first trial, including the header that tells me what the concentration was of the acid and the size of the marble chips. So I highlight it, hit Command C to copy it, go over to Excel, highlight the first cell and hit Command V to copy my data over. Um, I don't like it when the cell overruns, so I'm going to edit this row with a Control right click. Uh, format cells and I'm going to let it wrap the text so that it looks nicer and then I have to make it a little higher so you can see all of it. In the lab you're asked to graph the mass of the carbon dioxide generated versus time so I'm going to add a calculated column mass of carbon dioxide and this is in grams. And to do that, really, what I want to do is take the original mass of the system and subtract from it the mass of the system at that particular time. So highlighting this cell, I'm going to put give a plus sign and a dollar sign. Well, actually, I'm just going to pick this cell and then say minus the other cell. Now, we want to lock the first mass as being the original mass, so I'm going to put in a dollar sign before the letter of the column and a dollar sign before the number of the cell. And then that way what happens is it takes the cell you're on and subtracts it always from that initial mass of the system. Then I'm going to copy this down until wherever the data ends. And I will save my work just in case something happens. We'll call this, I'll call it student data. You call it something where you're not going to lose it. Okay. So now we're ready to uh, make a graph. And we'll just call this zero as well because it, it was. I find it easier to make a graph um, if I just highlight two columns. Actually, what we probably could do is hide these. I don't know if this works or not. Let's see. I'll edit this out later if it doesn't. All right, so then I'm going to copy these two columns. And I'm going to say, OK, I want to put in a chart. Uh, and I highlight my data. Let's put in this. OK, so I highlighted my data. Put in a smooth scatter. Make my chart a little bigger. Okay. Now, that's not, that's not a bad line, but let's edit the chart just a little bit. I'm going to right click on the chart area and I'm, first I'm going to select my data. The data for this series is going to be the experimental condition. So it was 2 molar hydrochloric acid and marble chips. And that'll give me the name and now I can go and edit this title. I go to chart layout, I can edit the title. I want to do the title above. Jeez. Because what I really want to name it is carbon dioxide generated versus time. And then I want to look at the axes on the horizontal axis. I want to call this time in seconds. And then on the vertical axes, we want to call it mass of carbon dioxide in grams. Okay. Now, the lab does ask you to add an additional data point. Okay, and that would be um, the data from the four molar. So if I put this back to get it out of my way. 
I'm going to highlight this data. Control C. Go over here, control that. I don't know why the header didn't come over. I should probably copy that over. So now I want to, again, um, map the text. I can make this the mass of carbon dioxide in grams. This is zero. This is going to be that mass minus that mass, and then going back up and locking this cell in place. Adding those points. Going back to my graph, and I'll make it bigger so that we can use most of the room. Here, right clicking again, selecting my data. I want to add another point. The name of this will be 4.0 molar hydrochloric and marble chips. My x values will be these. I take that back. Those aren't those. They're going to be this original time. Remember, it's got to be the total seconds. So from here. Down to there. Click on that to get access to the next one. And then this data is going to be. <coughs> That's Mr. Taylor coughing. Sorry. You can tell him you heard him at some point. Right. And then if you hit OK, it shows you the second plot. Okay. And that. So I've got an x-axis, I've got a y-axis, I've got a chart title, and I have a legend saying the two different um, graphs. Okay, and then save it, uh, print it. Uh, the other thing that you may want to add is just adding a note into the chart. Uh, Should be able to add if we insert. So hoping we could add a text box. Oh, you know what? Let's put it in the title. Yeah, let's just put it in the title. So in the title, you're going to put your name. There we go. And that ends the directions on how to make a graph.